and welcome to Obsidian Soft. Whenever we are making any game in which we have to fight enemies, there is this concept of a health bar that shows the current health of the player. For example, we have a game in which a rocket ship has to fly through a field of asteroids. Whenever the rocket ship hits an asteroid, it loses health. And when health becomes zero, the game is over. All games have this health or hard bar that shows the status of health, but how to make it an MIT app inventor? Today, I will show you how to make this simple but efficient health bar that you can make very easily without using any extension. Yes, you heard me right. We will not use any extension for this status bar, so it will work even on an iPhone. Let's have a look at the demo. In the demo, I have a timer that reduces health after half a second. This is just for display purposes to show you that the health bar is actually working. In your actual game, you will be reducing the health from some other place. As you can see that our health bar is color coded too, where green means full health and red means that there is a risk of the game being over. You can use the same bar for making a progress bar or intensity bar etc. But before I begin, let me tell you a bit about my channel. I teach coding, app development and mental maths here. All my classes are detailed but easy to understand and in a friendly teaching style. If you like my work, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any of the great innovative projects that I have planned for you. Coming back to our health bar, so let's begin. Go to projects, start a new project, call it health bar. I will upload this background that I got from freepick.com just to give an exciting look to my app. Your actual game will have its own background. I will also upload the image of a heart, a red heart. I will also give the link in the video description. And I have also reduced the size of this heart image to 100 by 100 pixels. For screen one, make a line horizontal center and the background image that the image that I uploaded earlier, make screen orientation portrait. Drag and drop from layout, a horizontal arrangement, make a line vertical, center, background color is none, height is 15% and the width is 95%. Drag and drop an image from user interface inside this horizontal arrangement Make the width 20% and use the heart image as the picture. Drag and drop a slider. Now here comes the trick on the right hand side of this image and make the color left green. Make the width 75%. Max value is 100. Minimum value is zero. This is important. Uncheck thumb enabled and the thumb position is 100 because the health is full in the very beginning. Drag and drop from sensors a clock. This is for our demo purposes for showing the health bar going down in front of your eyes using a timer and make the timer interval 500. This means 500 milliseconds, that is half a second. You will not need this clock sensor in your actual game for updating the health bar as you will update the health bar every time your player is hit. In my case, I will use the clock to update the health bar every half second after reducing health by five, okay? Also, from user interface, add a notifier. The screen design is done. So let's go to the block section. From variables, get the initialized global variable block and call it health. Give it the value, a maths block of 100. Now we are going to make a procedure for updating our health bar. So just call it update health bar. Okay. And we will write the code for it later. But first, let's get the clock's timer event 
and reduce this health by 5. Okay, so if I hover it over it, I will get the setter for it. If I go to maths, I can get the minus block. If I hover over it again, I can get the getter. And if I go here, get the mass block and make it 5. So I've reduced the health by 5 whenever the timer goes off. And then I'm going to call this procedure. So call the procedure. Now remember, in your actual game, you will be calling the health bar procedure, update health bar procedure from the place where your player has been touched by an enemy object. Okay, so this is just for demo purposes. Now, let's come back to our procedure. First, let's check if our health is greater than zero or not, because only then we will need to give the color to our health bar slide, slider. Okay, so go to control and get the if then else block and go to mass and get the equal to block and choose greater than here. Go to maths again, get the zero block and hover over health to get the health getter. Check if health is greater than zero. Now what will we do if this condition is true? Now we're going to look at the values of health one by one and depending on it, we will change the color left of the slider bar. In the end, we will update the thumb position, okay? Go to control and get this third block which has a lot of if else if statements and again I can duplicate this block and now make it less than equal to. Now make sure that this is less than equal to. So the outside if is health is greater than zero and inside here we are checking if our health is less than equal to 25. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just set the color left of my slider to actually red. So drag and drop it from here because if I click on colors, I can get color from the edge. What comes in else if? Just duplicate if health is less than equal to now 50. Okay, and duplicate and now I'm going to make this orange okay and click on this cog wheel because I want to add another else if and put it above the else okay now duplicate bring it here now check if it's less than equal to 75 and we are going to set the color slider to yellow and last but not the least is any value that is less than equal to 100 by default because we know that the max value of our health is 100. So any value that is not less than equal to 75. So that means any value above 75 going up to 100 and we are going to make it green. Okay. And last is just below these statements. No, no, not here, okay? Here, I'm going to set the thumb position of my slider. So, set slider's thumb position to health, okay? So, ju just duplicate, okay? But what happens if health is less than or equal to zero. In this case, what I'm going to do is, I am going to set my health slider's thumb position to zero because I don't want it to be negative. So I'm just taking care of it. If the health has become negative, so the slider should be set to zero. And I am going to disable my timer that was running. This was just again for demo purposes. So that the timer that was continuously running, I don't want it to run anymore because the health has been reduced to now zero. So set clock once, timer enabled to false. Again, this is just for demo purposes. 
and I am also go going to call my notifiers message. Show alert that you have run out of health. Okay, this is it. And we are done with coding our health bar. I hope you like this short tutorial to add to the user experience of your games. You know, it will make a very cool front end that you have a visibly reducing health bar that also has those color codes in it. You can use this technique to convert your basic slider into a progress bar or intensity bar. I will be using it to make a noise pollution app in the next class. Please don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching my video. Have a good day and goodbye.